Thank you, Teresa. This is a story that News 8's been following for more than a year. Now, homeowners who've put down roots in Kensington are fighting to save trees in their neighborhood that have stood for more than a century. News 8's Tim Blodgett has the latest on why the city says they have to go and why neighbors disagree. In this Kensington neighborhood, these trees have been giving shade to neighbors for over 100 years. But now the city says they're rotten from the inside and need to come down. But neighbors say there's nothing wrong with them at all. It just makes for just a great environment. I mean, who doesn't, you know, love the trees and all the green. Just outside Rebecca Byram's Kensington home, there are three trees, pepper trees to be exact, that have stood through 19 presidents, two world wars, and countless storms and droughts. Can't quite understand exactly what the beef is with the city as to why they would want to remove such beautiful trees. Next week, the city of San Diego has plans to cut these pepper trees down. A spokesperson declined an interview, but in an email wrote that after an inspection from a city arborist, he decided that the pepper trees on Marlboro Street needed to be removed. The spokesperson said in part, in all cases, these street trees have significant amounts of decay, are no longer viable street trees, and pose a significant risk to our community in the right of way. He included these pictures of similar pepper trees in the area that were taken down for the same reason. You can see the rot from the inside. I don't want anything that would ever create a danger for anyone but I'm not sure that's the case. But neighbors in the area say these trees are healthy and have never had an issue with them losing branches, even bringing in an independent arborist who, after a visual inspection, said he didn't see enough evidence for them to be removed. But as of today, the city will move forward with its plans to cut down the three pepper trees on Marlboro Street. This postperson says that it's not a decision that the city takes lightly, and they offer free trees as a replacement. I can't imagine what it's going to look like. Yeah. Certainly not pretty. As for Byram and the rest of the neighbors in Kensington, they hope the city takes another look at these trees that have stood for more than a century. So I hope that the city will, will reconsider and take a little bit of time on this. It, it doesn't seem like, they're, one thing, they're not hurting anything right now. So let's take some time. Tim Blodgett, News 8.